Hey everybody, this is the Marine. Do you know that your body weight is approximately 60% water? Your body uses water in all its cells, organs, and tissues to help regulate heat and other bodily functions. Your body loses water through breathing, sweating, and digestion, and that's why it's important to always rehydrate with water. Now when you don't properly rehydrate, of course you're gonna dehydrate, and the first sign is thirst, dry mouth, which leads to muscle cramps and fatigue, and that also leads to headaches and lightheadedness, which could lead to the risk of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. They say that the average person can survive somewhere between two days to a week without water. So that means that your most important piece of gear that you have for backpacking is treating and purifying your water. In this video, we're gonna look at the different types of water filters and purifiers and the methods that they're used for hiking and camping and to help you find the best one that works for you. Now in this video we're going to look at two ways of treating your water and the first one is purifying the water and the second one is filtering the water. For purifying the water the safest way and most reliable way is boiling the water and that's because it will kill all bacteria, parasites and even viruses which makes your water the safest to drink. Some will say you have to boil water for 5 or even 10 minutes. All you have to do is bring your water to a rolling boil even if it's under a minute and it will effectively kill just about anything alive in there. But if you're at an elevation of 6,500 feet or 2,000 meter or higher, then you want to boil your water for three minutes. And I believe the best way for purifying water in the winter time is boiling it. You can either melt snow, drill a hole in the lake and get the water out of the lake, or find an open area in the stream. You don't have to wait for it to cool down because there's nothing like a hot cup of coffee, cocoa, or broth, and you'll need the hot water for your cooking. However, to boil water, you'll need a stove, fuel, or some type of fire, which may take a while. Moreover, during the summertime, it's not especially appealing to drink hot water. And furthermore, you may have to filter your water to get all those solid particles out, especially if you got your water from a doubtful water source. Now, the second way to purify your water is using some type of safe chemical, like the use of iodine solution, tablets, or chlorine dioxide drops. This is an effective and more convenient way compared to boiling water, which will also kill viruses, parasites, and bacteria. They're very lightweight, packable, which makes it a great choice for the ultimate hiker or an ultralight hiker, and they're great for a backup. Once you drop the tablet into the water container, shake and hold the bottle upside down, and have the lid slightly unscrewed to let the iodine flow into the threads of the bottle cap. However, you have to wait 30 minutes, four hours if you're worried about crypto to treat your water, some people don't like the aftertaste, and depending on the water source, you may have particles floating around your water bottle. Now the third way we're going to look at purifying the water is using ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light will kill bacteria, viruses, and parasites just like the other two. And one way is taking a clear bottle and leaving it in the sun all day. But there's a better way of using ultraviolet light, and that's using a device called a stirry pin. The stirry pen produces more ultraviolet light than that of the sun. This high intensity light disrupts the DNA within the bacteria, protozoa, and viruses that may be lurking in your water. The major shortcoming of the stirry pen is they tend to run through the batteries fairly quickly. They're only effective when you're using clear water, so if you have murky water, you have to filter it first. The batteries may burn out or break during transit. Now the second way for treating water is using a water filter. A water filter has an internal element or cartridge which are usually made of activated carbon or ceramic impregnated with silver. A component that has microscopic pores that catches debris, protozoa, and bacteria. However, most filters will not work for viruses. And that's because they're too tiny for most filters to effectively catch, which can lead to a problem if you're traveling in a less developed area of the world but there are some filters like the MSR Guardian that will filter out viruses. Now a big advantage that water filters have over water purifiers is that you can take murky water and it'll turn it into clear, clean water 
and you don't have any dead critters or particles floating around in your water. And by not using chemicals, it tastes a little bit better. Now there's four types of filters or methods we're gonna look at. The drink through filter, the pump filter, the gravity filter, and the squeeze through filter. Now the first type of water filter we're gonna look at is a drink through filter. There are many types of drink through filters, but the most popular one is a bag or a bottle with a filter built on the top. You can either squeeze the bag or bottle with the dirty water that would go through the filter and the clean water will flow into your mouth. Now another type of drink through filter we're going to look at is a straw. Some straws have a filter built inside of it. Others will have a filter that you attach a straw to, put it in the water and suck the water through the filter to purify the water to go into your mouth. They're fairly easy to use, they're lightweight, compact, which makes it a great choice for day hikers, trail runners, or mountain bikers. The downside is you cannot filter a large quantity of water, so that makes it not great for camp, especially if you're not near a water source, and they're not great if you have to cook. The next type of filter we're going to look at is the pump filter. They're basically a filter that you hand pump. Attach the intake hose to the bottom of the filter. On the top of the filter is another hose that you attach to the bottle with either a clip or some may just screw on the bottle. First by putting the intake hose into the water source. Most will have a screen or a little filter at the end to stop the debris from entering in. And you just pump the dirty water through the filter with the clean water going into your bottle or pot. It can also be pulled from seeps and shallow water sources. Which you can pump the exact amount of water that you need. And they're fairly easy to maintain in the field. After you have used it a few times, the filter will be filled with particles or may start to get clogged. You simply, depending on the type, either change the filter or ceramic filters, just scrub it with a scouring pad that comes with your filter. Now the downside for this type of filter is that they're bulky, they're heavier, and they cost a little bit more depending on the model. But I believe this works great for large groups as long as everyone pumps their own water. But if you have a designated pumper, it's a bummer for them. Now the next type of water filter we're gonna look at is a gravity filter. The gravity filter has a bag or reservoir and you fill it up with water. Find a suitable place to hang everything up. Attach or place a hose on or in the bottle or pot. Then wait and let the gravity pull the water down through the filter and into your bottle or pot with clean water. Now the pros on this type of filter is they're great for the lazy man. Gravity does all the work. And they produce a lot of water if you have a big group of people and the filters are easily changeable or easy to back flush. Now the cons in the gravity filter is that you may have a hard time finding a place to hang the reservoir or the bag. And if you're in an area where there's seeps and shallow water, it can be challenging to fill that bag up. And when you hang the bag up and the water will come out at a trickle or a slow stream, but the plus side is you can do other things while the gravity filter is filtering your water. And the two most popular brands is Catadyne and Platypus. Now the last type of water filter we're gonna look at is a squeeze bag filter. 
There's different types and styles and sizes of bags. All you do is you fill that bag with dirty water. Screw the filter on the end of the bag. You take off the cap or open the spout on the other end. Hold filter in the bottle squeeze the bag. Now one thing I forgot to mention with all the water filters is that when you first start to filter your water you let the water run through it and you'll see that the water is a little murky. You wait a few seconds and it'll turn clear and you're ready to go. Like the gravity filter, you want to back flush your filter every couple times you use it, especially if it's murky water. I will back flush it every time because I like the water to flow freely through there which makes it faster and quicker to use. Now the pros on the squeeze filter is that they're packable, they're lightweight, they're easy to use, they're durable, and they're very versatile. You can convert these filters into a straw filter or a gravity filter. The con on this filter is that they don't work in cold weather. Matter of fact, when the temperatures are below freezing, you can ruin the filters. But what you can do is you can buy a small filter like the Sawyer Mini or the Micro Filter and you put it into a chest pocket or any pocket that's close to your body and your body heat will keep it warm. When you need it, you take it out. Always use a watertight bag. You filter your water. When you're done, you put it back into your chest pocket. And this works well with temperatures that are below freezing, but you can't use it when it gets very cold. Well, I hope this video has helped you decide which type of water treatment would work best for you. I'll have a list of water filters and purifiers down below. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine. Thank you for watching and God bless.